You're almost there, buddy. Let's go get some strawberries. Here, <laughs> right, buddy. Let's go get some strawberries. Hey guys, I'm sorry for the long wait. I've been working on building a house slash kitchen and I'm almost done with planning. I named my channel like this as a dream and it's finally happening. I'm so excited. It's all thanks to you guys and thank you so much. And yes, there will be a lot of catwalks everywhere in this cat house. Recently, I got contacted by a subscription box service called Sakurako, which is sponsoring this video and helping me afford my kitchen. Sakurako lets you experience traditional Japanese sweets. And I realized that I've been making Japanese recipes on this channel, but not so many Japanese sweets. So I got inspired by Sakurako to make taiyaki this time. The box comes with a nice booklet about the sweets in the box, and next box will include this, matcha taiyaki. Normally, taiyaki has red bean paste inside, but there are many other options like chocolate, cream, fruits, or matcha. If you're interested in the box, I'll talk more about it later, so please check it out. Now let's make taiyaki. This time I'm going to put red bean paste as well as some fruits and chocolate. First, I'm going to make red bean paste. Rinse the beans and boil it on medium heat for about 5 minutes. Drain the beans to get rid of tartness. Boil the beans on medium heat again until the beans become soft. Drain the beans and make it into paste with sugar. Next, I'm going to make the batter for taiyaki. Mix an egg, milk, sugar, and salt in a bowl. Sift the flour in another bowl. Mix in baking powder. 
pour the liquid mixture into the flour, little by little, so it doesn't become chunky. Using a strainer helps. Rest the butter in the fridge for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare other fillings. Melt some chocolate and mix it with warm heavy cream. I froze these strawberries after I picked them so they will last longer. Next, heat up the pan on low heat and put everything together. Spread the batter around the pan. Put the fillings and sandwich them for a few minutes on low heat. Of course, it may not be easy to find a Thai pan where you love, but you could also try using these ingredients in a sandwich press, or even just fry it like pancakes and spread the fillings between them. Whoa! Does it look like a real fish now? Taiyaki! Done! They're so cute! Mmm! Can't wait to eat it! Done! Dakimasu! <laughs> Guess I have to eat it before they eat it! No! It's mine! The chocolate red bean paste is so good! And goes with the fruit too! Mmm! Ta da! Kurako taiyaki. Oh, the matcha paste looks very good. Mmm, matcha goes really well too. It's really moist. Wow. How do they do it? Mmm, it's so delicious. Other than taiyaki, Sakurako offers many more authentic Japanese sweets, and they source and deliver Japanese tea, sweets and snacks from local makers. Looking at these definitely reminds me of the treasure trip I had. If you sign up for Sakurako by May 31st, you can get this box which includes this much taiyaki. If you're interested, the link is in the description down below. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.